Welcome to Dallas, Texas, where today we're gonna to be looking at a townhome, a two-story townhome located right off of 75 and Walnut Hill. This is a spectacular location, great for commuting, great for shops, dining, mall, restaurants, also White Rock Lake, Uptown, Knox Henderson, endless possibilities with this location. Let's check it out. This townhome is located off of 75 and Walnut Hill. Easy access to Dallas North Tollway, Highway 75, Highway 635. Close proximity to shops, restaurants, North Park Mall, Royal Oaks Country Club, White Rock Lake, Old East Dallas, and so much more. I'm Betty with the Living in Dallas, Texas team, and if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be the first to learn of everything going on in the Dallas area and surrounding suburbs. So today we're checking out this amazing, cute little townhome, two-story townhome, but before we go inside, I wanna show you this little courtyard area, which as you enter in your gate, this is the first thing you're gonna see. And if you have small pets, this is where they're gonna to wanna to hang out and sit down, and for you to be be able to enjoy either morning coffee or an afternoon cocktail. This is a great little spot as we enter in the main home. So let's check out the rest of the space. Come on in. I want to point out a few of my favorite features from this home. And as you'll notice, you're going to walk in directly to the living area. So you have this really great, spacious, roomy living area with this awesome, super cool fireplace. It has like this really great stone accent, dark charcoal gray kind of color, which I think is really, really pretty. You have this really beautiful light gray. I think it's probably agreeable gray by Sherwin-Williams, quite a popular uh, paint color in this space. And you'll notice that there's a projector and the screen that will actually stay with the home. So cool bonus for whoever purchases this beautiful property. Um, and as we transition right over into this cute little kitchen and eating area, you're gonna notice you have some great windows, you have some great natural light coming in, and the ceiling height here actually goes up just a little bit more, and you'll notice you have plenty of room here for dining. We have a table here set up for four, but you probably could do seating for six, maybe even possibly eight, because you do have a lot of walking space here. As we step around into the kitchen, you'll notice this really great contrasting colors with the dark countertop and then also the white cabinets. I love that combination. And also check out the stainless steel handles, which is always a nice little touch to add in. You have your stainless steel appliances. And what one of the things that they did that I think is a really nice touch is that they added little holders here for your wine glasses and your wine bottles. So that's a nice little touch. You have all of this overhead cabinet space. So there's plenty of storage that you'll notice. You have a pantry here with lots more of uh, storage space. And as we head on upstairs, I just wanna point out since this is a two story, two bedroom, two and a half bathroom home. This is the first bathroom, which is a half bath. You also have your laundry full size washer and dryer located right in here. And this is kind of more of the community restroom area. So let's go upstairs and check out the bedrooms. So as we come upstairs, you're gonna notice a nice little landing area. And we're gonna first check out the first of the two bedrooms that are located on the second floor. And immediately you will notice bright, windows, all of this natural light comes into this room. You'll also notice there's plenty of room here. This is a queen size bed. You could go larger if you wanted to. And you also have these built-ins. They of course stay with the property, but here you have a lot of different possibilities. If you wanna do artwork here, you could. You could also do flat screen TV in this area and plenty of storage space for your books, for your decor, for any kind of art um, de decorations that you wanna include in this space. You also have a closet that runs all the way. It has two separate doors and it runs the entire width of this room. So that's really cool for additional storage. And as we cut across the landing, we're gonna check out the first restroom, which has been renovated. So you will notice it has really nice upgraded. You have two sinks right here in this area and you have this really nice dark wood floating vanity space here. So this is really cool. And in the shower, you'll also notice they added in this really cool little 
accent tile around the shower area. And of course the nice seamless glass, which we love uh, enclosure out here. You have additional storage space here and you also have a medicine cabinet. So this bathroom has been remodeled. And so that's a really, really nice touch when you get to see the flooring, the different cabinets and kind of the cool uh, tile that they used in this space. So before we check out the primary suite, I wanna let you know that this home is just under 1200 square feet. And one of the really cool things is that, as I mentioned before, super easy access to all of the uh, local area amenities, shops, restaurants, all that good stuff. But also this is a great idea if you either work or attend the local universities, SMU, the Art Institute, this is great proximity where you can get to and from very, very easily. So as we come into the primary suite, you will notice amazing natural light in this space. Right now, this has a king size bed and you still have a ton of space all the way around. Um, you have this headboard kind of accent that is actually built in and will remain with the home. And you have a little sitting area. So if you work from home, you have some space there to do that. Or if you're a student, then you still have space to be able to take care of those things as well. And we're gonna take a look at this bathroom, which was also remodeled and has really great finishes. So let's cut on right through here. And you'll notice again, this really nice kind of, this one is a little bit more like a, a slate kind of gray color cabinet. You have some additional storage space here. And in the shower, this is a stand-up, oversized stand-up shower. And I'll tell you what I love about it is this awesome tile that's back here. And it's a really nice dark charcoal color. And then they added in these glass accent mosaic tiles, which was a really, really nice touch. So also let me point out to you that you have some really great storage space in terms of the closet. You have two sliders on, on both sides and the closet actually has some really nice built-in organizers in here and you can actually walk through the whole entire thing. So there is no separation here. You actually have the entire width for storage space. So I think that that's really awesome too. And as we head back over to the other side of the room, you will notice that there is a patio right here where again, you can go out, you can have a nice little sitting area for your morning coffee or just a great place to just sit and read a book if you'd like. So that's a really nice touch to have right outside of the primary suite. So we're gonna head back downstairs and we're gonna wrap up this tour. So I hope you love this cute little condo. And I also wanna point out that there's a community pool that you also get to benefit from. And again, we're gonna head out back into the courtyard area. I think this is such a great little spectacular spot to, to be in. And also I'll mention to you that you do get covered patio. There's an assigned carport for the owners of this residence. And again, this is a rare find in Dallas for under $250,000. So if you're thinking about moving in nine days or 90 days, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule a Zoom call with us. All of the information is located in the description box below. We look forward to seeing you soon and showing you around town.